unbelievable. I cannot believe it. I want you to meet someone. Okay. Okay? All right. Look at him. I don't even know that guy. Oh, I do. To see myself like that, to see that I let myself go like that, uh, and didn't even realize that I was that unhealthy, what I think was the saddest thing about it. I believe what you have achieved here on The Biggest Loser is one of the greatest success stories I have seen on this show. I will never look like that ever again, and also I will never be the person I was back then. I'm going to be able to take care of my kids a lot better. I'm going to be able to play with them longer, run around the backyard with them. I didn't have the energy to get up and chase them and play with them in my backyard. I don't think I ever told you that. I'm a very fortunate individual in this life, and I have a lot to be thankful for. So no matter what happens to me at the finale, it does not make a difference. The results are still the same. I have a healthier, better life. The one thing I've learned about being here, showing emotion is not weakness, it's strength. Oh, yeah, it is. It's stronger to show emotion and ask for help than it is to internalize it and become that. All good things must come to an end. And it's time for Mark to move on. I couldn't do it without you, man. I couldn't have done it without his guidance from a physical standpoint on training, and I couldn't have done it without his guidance on a mental standpoint. So I'm indebted to him for life. He's given me my life back. How you feeling? Well, I mean, you know, I, you know, driving below the the yellow line, which I always thought once I did that, I'd go home. Uh, you know, I'm going home. But I still have an opportunity to stay in the game, which I'm thankful for. Well, before you go home? Yes. I want you to meet someone. Oh, man. Look at that guy. Go up there. I need to see you buy him. Oh, I don't want to be by him. Where's his clothes? For him to see that kind of transformation, it was just the best to see Roger's face. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I cannot believe it. You are that same man, only smaller, because you walked into this house knowing who you are. I've lost weight, but I haven't changed who I am as a person through this process. I've learned things that's gonna help me eat and survive the rest of my life and be healthy. And I appreciate him recognizing that. That it's a lazy guy right there. You know, people make different changes on this show. And and like you said, I was I was happy. I'm happy. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with my wife. I'm happy with my kid. I'm happy with my career. I just need to lose weight. Yeah. Thanks. It, it takes a lot for me to trust somebody with what I'm, I'm doing. I trust you. And uh, you've helped me tremendously. And I appreciate it. I appreciate your friendship more than anything. And um, that guy's history. <laughs> that guy's history. <laughs> without a doubt, I wouldn't be where I am today without Bob. I think we've connected on a level that's uh, more than just trainer and athlete you know we're friends 144 pounds 144 pounds i just have to tell you <sighs> thank you thank you this has been a great experience and i'm still in it i still got a shot man that's what's crazy about it gotta keep plugging yeah we do you know my fate is in in the hands of america and you know what i love you america give me a hug come here america